train, citrine time. Oh my goodness, I am actually so excited because I did indeed manage to breed citrine. Which means that I don't have to quit DML because I legitimately would have if I didn't game. But look how cute he is. Ah, oh. ah, oh, the egg's quite plain. I kind of like it. It looks like a little devil egg. You know what I mean? The little, the little hornies on him. Either way, this is Citrine, my favourite dragon in DML. And honestly, I think the baby form may actually be even better because adult form looks like baby Yoshi, but baby form just looks like. Full, full dinosaur. If you ever want to see me be excited for something in DML, this is it. This is the key. Oh, I wish I could have 20 of them. Oh, Citrine! Named for the rare gemstone, the Citrine dragon is powerfully optimistic and radiates warmth. Apparently, it absorbs energy from the sun and reflects it. Maybe all that heat is why it looks so drowsy. So yes, he is supposed to be drowsy on purpose, and my mic decided to have an explosion there. Anyway, like I was saying, he may look very drowsy, but it is intentional, and the only downside to little Baba here is that he is an epic with metal, light, and earth. So his elements could be a little better, but look at how big his arms are! Do we actually see dragons with arms this big, or is this just the citrine thing? Because that's quite scary, I like it. I like it. Um, I'm gonna call him um, Rex. Rex. That's his name. Rex. Yes, Rex, you are mine. The arms are looking kind of weird. I don't remember arms looking like that on dragons, but either way, we are gonna feed this boy. Yeah, there's something about this body type that looks different to normal to me. Whereas this is just my bias for, for Citrine coming in. This baby, though. This baby, though, is wonderful. Well, you know, I can always um, babify him if I want to, right? But his arms look so janky. Oh, I love it. Anyway, I am going to level him up for now into his adult form. And we can enjoy him in his baby glory, in his adult glory, in every form of glory that is Mr. Citrine. Just look at him, look at that dinosaur go! So yes, the adult form is where he really shines as chonky baby Yoshi. You know, the like the ones from the Mario game that light up the the levels, the ghost levels. Yeah, that that's him. Citrine Rex. Rex. Maybe, maybe after we get ceremony to level a hundred, we get Rex to level a hundred. You think that's an idea? Because I really, really want m so many citrines, but so far the breeding luck took enough effort just trying to get one successful breeding attempt, but man, oh man, I'm so happy I've actually got Rex in the game. I'm really not joking when I say that I, w I would have quit the amount if I didn't get that dragon. So, um, I guess it's a good thing for us all. In the meantime, might as well go ahead and uh, spend all of our event currency from Easter Adventure. They're at 100, and we're probably not going to get to full 100% because I haven't been collecting event currency every reset since I finished a while ago. But we can get quite close. Although I do still have a chest or so that I haven't opened up yet. But we can get most of the rest up to 100%. But, you know, extra food, extra scrolls, why not? We can trade that in at the well mark, which sounds like a good idea. So they're all at 100%. It's only the final level where we could try and go for the final chest, but I don't care. So um, the final level is going to stay at 5 out of 6, 74%. But Easter Adventure, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We've also got the dinner time events and such, but I don't really care about those. I have, I have succeeded in what I wanted to achieve today. Um, I will mention that since it is Monday tomorrow, since it is Monday, there is a chance that we may be getting new update news and the new Divine Fest event news. So for anyone that's been looking out for that, 
I would recommend that you be paying attention tomorrow morning because obviously it's been the weekend and it is still Easter so it may or may not happen tomorrow. If it doesn't happen tomorrow it may happen on Tuesday. We may get some sort of news and gossip. Nothing's gonna beat Citrine but at the same time um, we do have Divine Fest stuff and they said that they were going to release information regarding that new, well, I guess easier way of getting divines tomorrow. So definitely something to be keeping your eyes peeled for. Definitely. I'm really curious to see what this new method is going to be because it could be lots of different things. But like everything in DML, whether it's good or not is going to come down to how it's implemented. Because I think DML has lots of great ideas. Dinosaurs better be coming soon. I've been begging for dinosaurs. But just in general, in terms of gameplay, DML's got lots of stuff that it isn't actually a bad idea. Endless Dungeon isn't a bad idea in theory. The problem with Endless Dungeon is the fact that it's just all monetized. Because if Endless Dungeon was actually Endless Dungeon and provided us something to do all the time, I know it'd be difficult to balance because any way of grinding endless resources, you know, you could get people just getting infinite resources from it. But at the same time, just having a moat where you can grind it and just get some items just from that game mode. You know, that sounds interesting to me. It's just like, maybe we could have, in the dungeon shop, we've got a, a currency which only lets us buy set items using those tokens. Why can't we just have a set of items and stuff available only in the dungeon and that's the only stuff that we can get out of it? And just make it cost a, an extortionate amount that we don't have to wait on timers for. Like, I would genuinely play the heck out of that. I don't know about anyone else, but just having something in game that I could sit here and stream for like 10 hours a day, whenever I'm free to do so, I would love that. But, you know, I've been saying things like this for years. I've got my dinosaur, so I can't really ask for much more, to be honest. But, you know, that's what I was hoping Endless Dungeon was going to be. I was hoping that Endless Dungeon was legitimately going to be Endless Dungeon. Like, first week of the previous Ancient event, when we were sitting there and we were able to actually grind for, uh, you know, the best, some of the best stuff in the game and get Frosk, you know, that was actually the first time in a long time where it felt pretty good to be playing DML. It was like, you know, I've got this team, if I just grind really hard, I'm going to be able to get something by grinding and grinding and grinding. Of course they nerfed it immediately afterwards, but it's just one of those things where I wish, I really, really wish that we could just, you know, have something in game. And by the way, I wanted to use I wanted to use Rexy Poo, so don't judge. I just really want to use Rexy. Um, let's throw in Olaf, and who else should we throw in? Do we have a level twenty ancient Gooby? Here we go. Look at this. These are basically three dragons, or not dragons, like three semi dinosaur dragon things. Yes, hit him, Rex. Hit him. I have to say, Rex having light does seem a bit weird now that I think about it. It doesn't, he doesn't seem like a light user to me. Don't get me wrong, I like it, but he doesn't feel like a light user. Um, just look at him when he uses it. Ew! It doesn't look right. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I'm sorry, Rex. I don't, I don't want to diss you. I actually love you, Rex. Give you big kisses. I will. I will. Um, Rex also is not going to falter in this fight. We will defeat this war dragon. This was a this was a terribly demanding fight. Oh, so scary. But the dinosaurs have won. <laughs> Why do I do it? I don't know. Why not? Um I bet we could actually win a fight 
with Rex. Would we be able to actually? I don't know. Let's hope they miss. Rex! Rexy, Rexy, come here. Um. Come here, Rexy Poo. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. No, I at least wanted to get one hit out. Oh, well. You know, it's all pointless in the end, but. You know, I very rarely go into fights with different dragons. It's just if the enemies obviously miss, we'd be able to deal some crazy damage to the, the opposition. Let's try again. Ah, he missed! Yes! Rex is going to defeat a level 78 Dark Machine. Yeah, yeah, do it, Rex. Ew! 656.1 billion damage from a level 20 Rex. Man, I love Wonder Acceptance. <laughs> and by that, I mean I actually hate it. It's like the only combo that you need to use in game. It's so stupid. He doesn't even have his level 6 upgrades, but he's still destroying. Absolutely decimates the opposition. If he had his level 6 upgrade, they would all be toast. So I could clear the map with Rex. And I don't even need to level him up. Very cool, DML. Very, very cool. But anyway, I just really wanted to uh, take Rex for a quick spin. Yep, the melon's going to end his life, which is to be expected. But I'm happy. You know, some people are happy when they get Ancients, Divines. I got Frosk, and Frosk was quite cute to Big Bird Boy. Nothing compares to Citrine. So I am probably going to upgrade Citrine when uh, this Scribble Dragon is done in the Academy. I actually have so many dragons with upgrades on them now. Um, but as I've mentioned before, one thing that we do need is more enchantment mats because we need to upgrade Scully, which means we need a lot of legendary mats still. So I've got 171,000 trinkets at the moment, 71 extraordinary, which is, I think that's going to be enough. And then we've got divine. We don't have a lot of divine because I recently... Uh, leveled up Erlang Shen. And for Ancient, we've got a few, but not a super massive lot of Extraordinary. Um, we can do one more Ancient, I believe. We could do Frosk, I think. Ah, uh, no, we couldn't because of the Divine. But, you know, if it was just the Ancient, we could do Frosk, I think. But, you know, we'll do that another day. Thank you for those special Enchantment Frenzies, because they're very nice. But, you know, we need to collect some more portal gems for now if we've got Divine Fest coming up. We just spent a lot during this event. Let's go and um, quickly gift our friends because I never gift people. And I'm going to be a good role model. Look at me. Look at me going through and gifting all of my friends. Oh, aren't I just a great, friendly DML player? I've legitimately not done this in probably six months. I wish, if there was a gift or button, I would, but at the moment it's just painful. So, um, uh, closer and closer to Piñata we get. If we can get some more Divines, that's obviously going to help quite a lot. But for now, I don't think there's any other dragons for us to be hatching. We've just got lots and lots of stuff in our inventory. They're just sitting here. I have more dragons than I care to count in here. Well, either way, I'm happy, Citrine is happy, you know what, I'm going to enchant him once. Now I'm going to enchant him a couple of times just because I've got the mats and I want to be kind to Rexy. You know, here's my little baby cake and uh, why not? I'm not using 4,000 metal mats for anything. Um, I don't really want to waste extraordinary mats though, so Rex, you can stay at three stars. Feels good, Rex. I'm not going to put any sigils on you right now. Another day. Another day. So, yes. I'm happy. I hope you also managed to breed Citrine, because the breeding event is going to be gone for him very soon. But, um, from me and from little Rexy, I hope you have a good day. And, uh, I'll be back. Probably. Quite soon.